Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea from Stay with PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. So you remember in the last tutorial, we downloaded uh, Apache Kafka, we installed it and uh, and we tested it running uh, some uh, the publish uh, subscribe messaging system and give you a, an idea of what you can do with Kafka, Apache Kafka. In this tutorial, we're going to do Flask because we're going to publish whatever stream I'm getting and detecting motion, and then I get it, I get it f catching it with this background subtractor emoji or mug, and then it's it's, go it's going to be a motion detection application. It's going to detect motion. It's going to create two videos. It's going to create one video with the motion and it's going to create a stream also, a continuous stream that will go into Kafka. Kafka will use, will keep that stream no matter what. And uh, it, it will save every frame. And uh, I'm going to sh be showing uh, how, how cool that is because you can have your own separate video with the motion and you can also watch it online uh, whether on, on your computer or on your phone uh, whether it's a apple phone or android it doesn't matter and you can also watch it there once uh, you watch it it goes away but you already have the backup uh, saved video with the motion so you can see it uh, in both places and i'll be showing you that probably in the next tutorial but in order to watch it online you need uh, a streaming uh, platform. In this case, we're going to be using Flask. Why am I using Flask? Because Flask is a micro framework. It's uh, very light. Uh, it very doesn't take very much uh, to, to do great stuff with Flask. And that's why I'm using Flask. Uh, it's better than using, you know, something bigger like uh, like Django or, or other things to, for what we're doing Flask is, is just good enough so the in order to install Flask in your virtual environment all you need to do is go uh, ls and then go sudo pip actually you don't need the sudo I don't think in the virtual environment pip install flask and that's why we installed the uh, pip because for these things that are python related pip is the best uh, way to do it and you go so we have flask now and now we can create uh, a hello pi we're going to test it. This is how easy Flask is. So we're going to go nano hello pi. And we're going to go paste. And return hello world. And then control X. Yes. And now we're going to run it. So we're going to go Flask app equals hello pi flask run and right away it opened a server on my on my local host so to watch local host you can either where is it local host So you go local host 5000 and there it is hello world and uh, this is how easy it is uh, working with flask it took uh, five lines of code and you have a server going that's the power of python and uh, what we're going to do is instead of you seeing the word hello world what are you going to see is a, an actual 
application uh, video stream online live video uh, being shown in here and we will do that in the next tutorial but if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another great tutorial have a great day